Well, let's go ahead and get started. What's your name? Ruth Emma Fike. It was Gilmer but before I, you know, when I graduated, but it's Fike now. Great. But now, after I graduated, I worked three years here at the library. Well, that's great. What Ma part did you work in? Mrs. Moulton was the librarian. Yeah, it's been a long time. Did you, uh, what year were you born? 1919. And um, did you grow up here in Sayota County? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My folks lived on Summit Street. Oh, so you're a Portsmouth kid all the way. Mm-hmm. What, um, what did you like about growing up in Portsmouth? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just a You're allowed to not like it. Also. Good education, <laughs> mm -hmm. very good education, and I took a commercial course with home economics. I don't know whether they have it, such a course now or not, but that's that was my course. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed it. Now, um, I understand that you went to Portsmouth High School at a very interesting time. Would you like to tell me a little bit about your experience? Well, I, I joined the Home Economics Club and um, commercial, bookkeeping, typing, shorthand. I don't even know whether they have such a course as yet or not, but uh, I enjoyed it. Good. And uh, I went all four years. To PHS. And you graduated in 1937. Mm -hmm. didn't yes. You? And um, will you tell me about the, of course, the big flood was that year. Would you tell me what it was like to be a senior in high school while that was going on? Oh, a lot of, uh, well, a lot of clubs, a lot of sophomores, and uh, uh, our president was Don Covert, that as head of the Covert Furniture, mm -hmm. but he's passed away. But uh, he was a very nice president, and uh, did you? This, I just knew a lot of kids. <laughs> did you? Um, Have you got very many that are on the video? A few. Um, I wanted to ask you though. Did you, while the flood was going on? Did you get the days off school, or did you have to make up those school days? How was that? No, I didn't have to make up anything. That's good. Mm -hmm. But you didn't go into school during the flood, did you? No. No? <laughs> How long were you out of school? I can't remember, honey. But uh, my focus lived on Summit Street, and we got water from a well that was near Lincoln School. That was the only way that we had to get water. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was a busy time. But there's Don's picture. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Tell her about the piano. Mm -hmm. Piano floating down the. The what? Piano. Oh, the Turn around. Piano? Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> I can't remember, honey. What, did it belong to anybody? No, it was floating in the water. I can't remember oh. that. Oh. I guess a lot of things were floating in the water. We're out of school for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Tell her about your lockers. And we had to go down and clean the mud out of our lockers oh. when it was over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we did. Yuck. That was a request, and we all did it. Did you have to get where all the books ruined, and mm -hmm. did you have to go through and get all new books and mm -hmm. all of that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was a bad time, but we made it. Did, um, how long... When you w went back to school and you had to clean out your lockers, and did it go right back to normal, or did it take some time to to get back it to took time to get back mm -hmm. to your lessons? Sure. Mm -hmm. What was it like in the in between? 
What did you guys do? I have no idea, but the <laughs> teachers made it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It was a busy time. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how far the water came up? Mm -hmm. Do you remember how far the water came up? And I'll probably tell you in here that the buildings were damaged. They've That's amazing that the first page of your book has a picture of the, the floodwaters on it. And there's a, oh, there's a lot of pictures in here. A lot of teachers. See, they got the teachers' pictures. It was a busy time, mm -hmm. but I enjoyed it. A lot of people have said that. That's interesting to me. People that have lived through this flood and and they say it was difficult. It was busy. It was hard, but they liked it. <laughs> that is so interesting to me. Yeah. Did you have to? There was our principal, Mr. Dale, Sherman Dale. Some people that I've spoken with said they had to um, relocate and stay with cousin. Did you have to do that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did you go stay? And I worked at Martings after I graduated. And then I um, went to s the pharmacy out on the boulevard. Morton's Pharmacy. That's mm -hmm. where I retired from. Okay. Did um, when the flood was going on, did you have to leave your house? No, my no. folks lived on Summit Street. Okay. So my dad worked up at the mill, and uh, we we took in my mother, my uh, aunt and uncle that lived down on Sixth Street. So there was a bunch of us in the house. Did it get crowded and... Yeah. <laughs> but we made it. Yeah. How, um, did, um, your friends at school, did any of them have to relocate or, um, did... Here's a better question. When the flood went down, your friends, did any of them have to move or, um, as a result of the flood? You have to move. Yeah, well, the did anybody you knew from school have to? Yeah. Well, oh, that's good. So, um, how was There's the... There's a picture there of the flood. And we can um, get these so we'll be able to see it on the tape, too. We'll make a scan of them so people mm -hmm. will be able to see them. Sure. Um, what was... You said you had to clean the mud out of your locker. What were, what were other things that were out of place at the school when you went back? Well, it was pretty much, uh, it depended on the kids to take care of things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were all busy. Sure. What all were you doing to clean up? Mm -hmm. Well, home economics, we had to cook and everything. <laughs> wow. Did, um, uh, was the, when you went back to school, were, was there mud on like all the walls and the floors and everywhere? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What did it? What did walking down the hall look like? Well, it was kind of bare. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, the pictures and things were gone, mm -hmm. and oh, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Were a lot to go through with, but we made it. Was there damage to the the building or any of the things in the building? Well, a lot of the rooms were practically destroyed, but they built them back up again. Mm -hmm. Did, um, was it when you went back, had they already put sort of the, the desks back in place or were they still a mess? A mess. A mess. <laughs> How, um, when you first went through the door on your first day back, what did you think? Well, I can't remember. We just had to make the best of it. It took a while, but we we did it. It's been so long ago, I just can't remember everything. Oh, sure. Sure. I'll be 92 in September. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic.
fantastic. <laughs> did um, how did um, did any of the community help pick up the school, or was it just the students? I think it was the whole city. That's mm -hmm. good. They just had to work hard. Of course, they had their own stuff to be taken care of too. Mm -hmm. yep. I went to McKinley School eight years. So then high school was the next stop. But they've torn down McKinley, Lincoln, Roosevelt. They're all gone. So I have four grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. They go to the schools here. How'd you get to school, Mom? Did you walk? Yes from Summit Street down to, and Phoenix Pie Company was on street that before we got home, they had pies for a nickel. Nice. <laughs> we, we would get the pies coming home. <laughs> That's a good bargain. But we walked, yeah, George Jacobs and I uh, he lived next door to us, and uh, uh, he and I went walk to school. Thought nothing about it. From Summit Street down to Waller was quite a ways, but we did it. How do you feel about um, seeing kids walk to school now? You mentioned that you didn't think anything of it when you were in school. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, what do you think has changed most about this area since you were in school? The new schools. The new schools are different. Mm -hmm. They've made uh, they've made a lot. I have a, <coughs> a grandson that a great grandson, Kevin Anderson, that will be in the eighth grade, and Katie is a cheerleader at PHS. So, and she'll be a senior. So she really likes it. They enjoy going to the schools here. Now the other grandchildren go to the West schools, West Portsmouth. But the ones that go to here in town, they like it real well. Now is there anything else you want to know? Let me see here. Make sure we've got everything. I was hoping you'd have a lot of people come in. We've had we've had a few. We've had about um, at least twelve, and I expect more after the fair. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Do um is there anything that I didn't ask that you think I should have asked, and you want to make sure to tell? No. No. It's okay. And we're going to keep these uh, videos on file, so um, people will be able to come in and watch them. Is there any sort of um, I don't know, life advice you would want to leave for people Did you go to school watching? here in Portsmouth? I actually went to Minford. Did you? Mm -hmm. No well. life advice for any of the future viewers? <laughs> what? Any life advice you want to give to the future viewers? Oh, just, just keep going to school. <laughs> That's good advice. That's all I can say. Thank you very much for coming in to talk with us today. I appreciate it.